There are several updates available regarding CM Punk's potential return to AEW. Everyone's favorite subject, the return of CM Punk. On Sunday's edition of Observer Live, our own Andrew Zarian provided an update on the situation. This is what he said. He said, I know for a fact that Warner has been told he is coming back. I'm very much aware of the situation. He'd recently said he is willing to return to AEW and he wants to make it work. So the issue here is that he's willing to work with the elite members. I know as of the time I was told, that was early this week, there was no intention on the other side. Maybe Kenny a little bit more than the Bucks, but I know they do not want to work with him. There's been no dialogue between the two sides either regarding sitting down and making this work. I can confirm all of that. Regarding the potential Saturday AW show, he said the soft brand split of the roster would not be as soft as he first mentioned in the Matt Men podcast. He said the plan's been put in place to possibly have a tentative Saturday show to be the soft brand split. When I used that term yesterday on Matt Men, I was told it is less soft than I am putting out there. I guess there will be people that are predominantly on the other show on the Saturday show. I've heard from multiple people. This is regarding the meeting with Punk, Tony Khan, Jericho, and FTR. He said, I've heard this from multiple people. The way it was alluded to me is that the program will probably be Punk and Jericho in some capacity. I don't know if FTR is involved or Jericho's society is involved, but you know what? It's a very smart way to do this. Jericho has presented himself as a locker room leader. Jericho came out and said he's toxic or whatever he said, and he's willing to make this work because he realizes there is money in this. Well, all I can tell you is, I mean, I can't confirm anything about this upcoming meeting. I have no idea what this meeting is about. I have no idea what they're going to discuss. I know people are presuming that it has something to do with Jericho and and Punk working together, but I don't know that. And when I first heard about it, I mean, I'll put it this way. What I was what I was told about the meeting was that there was going to be a neutral party involved, which is FTR, or the neutral party. And, you know, when I heard that, my my impression was certainly not that, oh, this is a meeting about working together. When I heard that, my impression was, well, this is a meeting because CM Punk went on his Instagram and called Jericho a stooge. And, uh, you know, he was very, very angry. And then he pulled the thing. And, I mean, certainly if I were Chris Jericho and I had been called a stooge publicly by CM Punk, I mean, my first thought is not, hey, I got an idea. Let's work together. I would be thinking, you know, we got to talk about this. Like, what's going on here? Why are you calling me a stooge? What are you presuming? And I'm pretty sure I know what he's presuming. And we're literally right back to where we were at Brawl Out, where he presumed something about Dave and I, which was wrong. And uh, there seems to be a lot of presumptions going on. So I don't know what's going on in the meeting. <laughs> There, there are, aren't they? I don't know what's going on in the meeting, but I mean, uh, that's what I got out of it. But I will say, as far as the brand split goes, I have heard about the potential of the Saturday show being the show where Punk and the people that are willing to work with Punk are going to be working. I never heard the term soft brand split. That was something that came later. Now, I'm not saying that no one told Andrew or anybody else about a soft brand because I believe other people have used that term like it's going to be a soft brand split or whatever you know what I what I heard from the beginning anytime this was brought up was there are people that don't want to work with CM Punk they don't want to be in the building with him and so there's going to be a place where he can work and do his thing and there's going to be a place where the other people can work and do their thing now if you're a neutral party then conceivably you can work both shows and everything like that but there are going to be certain people that are on one show, and there are going to be certain people that are on the other show because they don't want to be anywhere near each other. Or maybe they can't even legally be near each other. There's also that to consider. You know, I don't know the legalities of any of this because nobody can talk about anything that legally they're not allowed to talk about, which is why we've had an issue with, why doesn't Tony tell us what? Well, he can't. It's a legal issue, okay? There may be a legal issue here where certain people cannot be in the same place or whatever, which does bring up the question, well, what happens when you've got a pay-per-view? How are we going to do this pay-per-view? Are, are certain people going to work every other pay-per-view and the other people won't work on that pay-per-view? I don't know, dude. I can't answer these questions. But what I, can, what I can tell you is this is not stuff that's being made up. How it's going to fall out, I don't know, because I don't even think this TV deal is, like, official. But these are the things that are being discussed about how can we make all of this work. 
because right now it is not all handled. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low key at first, like, ah, bah, bah, bah. but he keeps going. Bah, ah, bah, 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 bah. He claps. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I got a hell of a ass. Ah, I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.